Good morning, brothers and sisters of the sleeper. In the last set of my gothic videos, we joined the sect camp, which means that we are now officially part of the Brotherhood. We are allowed to live here, we actually occupied one of the huts for our own. We are wearing the clothes of a novice. We're not yet a Templar, um, but in time we might become one of them. And we are also entitled, still, um, to our daily ration of swamp weed. So let's talk to Fortuno. Awaken! Yeah, I'm, I'm not yet quite awakened, you know? I'm feeling a bit sleepy, so... I've come to collect my daily ration. Here, take it! Three of the Northern Dark. But don't smoke them all at once! No, I won't. I won't. I will only get one to, you know, awaken, get focused, get ready for the day, and then I'll head out and... and do stuff for the sleeper and so on. Um, if we have a look at our inventory, we see over here 32 dream cords, um, which is quite a lot. We didn't buy all of those, and they are of 20 values, so um, that is slightly more than the Northern Dark that we get for free. Um, the dream cords we didn't find or anything, it was Korkalom, the second highest member of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper, that gave them to us. And he um, wants us to get them to... Where am I going? Uh, he wanted us to get them to... Uh, what's his name again? Gomez! That's the name of the leader of the old camp. Um, as I elaborated earlier, we, um, in, the, in the swamp camp, we don't produce any food on our own. But instead, we rely on, um, well, bringing our our goods that we are producing, namely um, drugs, um, to other camps and then trading it for food. So that is our only way to survive. So we are heavily dependent on drugs and um, making everyone else in the prison addicts. So that's what we are working on and now I'm part of this group, of this system. Um, in the last set we actually saw where the swamp weed is growing, where it um, has its origin, uh, right over there should be one of the, um, one of the groups that is harvesting the stuff. And then we went to Korkolom, who is um, turning uh, it all into actual product um, that people can smoke. So, um, yeah, and the, the final product we now have in our pockets. Um, 30 stalks of dream core, which is quite a lot, I suppose. I'm not quite sure how much m how much ore I will get for that. They forgot to tell me, which is not really that great. They might might try to to um, deceive me, uh, the guys in the old camp, and try to give me less ore than I deserve for that. But oh well, we'll see, we'll see. Um, yeah, we are still in the um, first chapter. Uh, yeah, it's not indicated here. It's not indicated here either. I forgot where it's indicated. It should be indicated somewhere, but um, yeah, we are still in the first chapter. That means that none of the uh, monsters has respawned just yet. So this path should be clear over to the old camp. So, there's nothing exciting going to happen, and that's why I'm going to make a little cut. And um, you will see me again in front of Thoros, the gatekeeper. Well, alright, here we are, and Mutt's with us, of course. So, let's talk to Thoros, and hopefully they won't let Mutt in. That would be great. Maybe they're going to kill him. We won't try to bribe him. Uh, we won't tell him about the letter. We are officially here as a wheat courier. So let's choose this one. I have a consignment of weed for Gomez from Kor Kalam. Show me. Hmm. All right. You can go through. Go straight to the Ore Baron's house. Bartolo will meet you there. Baron's house. Bar, bar, bar. Not a ball, but a bar. Stop! Relax. I talked to Thoris. I'm allowed in. 
Oh, I won't forget your face, pal. You get into trouble and it won't end quickly. Uh, we were right inside Thor's chest there. That was not pretty. What? Don't pay attention to me. I'll stay with you. Don't worry. Are you kidding me? You just let him... Mod, this is official business. You, you are not allowed here. Get lost. You want to be on your own for a while, do you? Uh, I, I understand. I'll stay in the background. Wait here, Mod. Don't want these guys to, to see you. Oh, gosh. Right next to me. Um, well, alright. Um, the Baron's house. The Baron's... Oh, that's lovely. Don't you have any plan of where you want to go? Mark, seriously. Could you please keep quiet for a minute? Sure. Great. And please do so. Alright, we were looking at this uh, skeleton and... It's actually keep it to You have a name, Cutter. Hello. This castle's pretty roomy. I don't think I've seen you here before. Who are you? I'm a newcomer. Just thought I'd take a look around. What can you tell me about the castle? Gomez and his gang took it over after the big uprising. I knew right away it was better to join up with him. Even when we were still cooped up in the dungeons and had to slave away in the mines, the rest of us prisoners always did what he said. Are there dungeons under the castle, then? Yeah, but there ain't nothing in them now. Nobody ever went down there after the big uprising. Great. Uh, I was more concerned about where I could actually find the house of the Ore Barons. Uh, let's take a little look around. This looks like a stable smithy. Stone. Take your time. Take your time. You're the smith, aren't you? That's right. <laughs> Creepy voice. Do you sell weapons and armor? Skip deals with the weapons. I just hand out the armor. What kind of armor have you got on offer? Only armor for guards. And you're no guard. So you have to get your armor elsewhere. Skip right yeah, let's talk to you. What do you do here? I take care of the guards' weapons. Do you sell weapons? Only to Gomez and his men. White, uh, oh, oh. I was just about to end the conversation, but we can lie to him. Gomez sent me, he told me he'd give me some equipment. Thor sent me, he told me to get myself a weapon. I got it. Well, you know what, no, I get it. I'll see you. I won't do that. I have a, well, mediocre weapon, and I just got new armor, so I'm quite content with that. And I just got promoted, basically, so I don't want to lose uh, my, my position on my first errand, on my first job, by doing silly stuff. We may not cross this doorstep unless Master Caristo allows it. I'm looking for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. That is Caristo. What do you want with him? You have to watch what you do. Oh, yes, I remember. I have a letter. Uh, it, it was open when they gave it to me. I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Are you a messenger from the outside world? Yes. A magician gave me the letter shortly before they threw me into the colony. Show me the letter. He's one of the magicians of fire, so I can trust him. He's not going to kill me. That was very clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah alright. Here it everything. is. This letter is addressed to Zardis. What's so exciting about that? Zardis has not been a servant of Innes for ages. He left us some years ago and turned towards black magic. He lives in a tower in the middle of the Orc land and concentrates on his studies. 
He said he would go his own way to find out what went wrong with the barrier. Wait here. I'll be back in a moment. I sure hope I get a lot of gold for that. Or, I mean, gold would be nice too. I can sell it for more. Caristo was beside himself with delight. He said that you may go to Torres and choose your reward. To, to what? What? Torres? Okay, you start. Where can I find Torres? He is in front of the temple building all day. At night, he is inside like all the others. But only magicians may enter the temple house, so you can only speak to him during the day. Thankfully, it's day. See you later. No, I'm interrupting you. Um, I remember someone once told me something about the leader of the Magicians of Fire. So maybe Milton can enlighten us a little bit on this regard. Tell me something about the Magicians of Fire. The Circle of Fire takes its powers from the grace of Innos. The God of Light, Truth and Justice watches over us. The Magicians consider themselves to be the Chosen Ones and that's how they treat others. I was lucky to be admitted. Caristo made me his apprentice. He probably just wanted some entertainment. Since then, I've been trying to improve my magic skills every day in order to be admitted to the next circle. 